Hi YouTube, it's me Journey Get Six. Uh, I'm here today with the uh, 28 month lock update. It's been over two years and one thing I noticed about all of us, all of us, when we kind of, um, when we reach that two year mark we kind of slow down our updates. But I decided today I would give you guys an update and just kind of let you guys know um, where my hair is um, after 28 months of locking. Okay, as we all know, you guys know I'm addicted to coloring. And you you guys know that I have done the two-tone with the dark color in the back. Let me show it to you. I showed it to you guys when I did it. Um, not everybody liked it. This was the, it was the first time I actually got like thumbs down on my, um, on my lock updates. But that's okay, that's okay. It's not for everybody. Um, but what I wanted to tell you guys is that um, in the process, well, coming into and um, through my two-year lock anniversary, my locks are continually um, maturing. And in that process, um, I had a little unraveling, but most of the ones that had unraveled... Um, they sealed back up and um, really it's just a matter of growth I had a couple of a couple of months back I had um, combined a couple of locks well that was a failed marriage these are those I think it's these two but anyway uh, it didn't work out between the two of them they uh, they broke up quickly but I did have one that turned into a two-headed dragon, and I think it's this one. And I actually, this is actually my fault, but you know what? I'm going to let it do what it do. I kind of like it. It's just one, but I kind of like it. And then I have a lock down here that looks like it wants to start forming a two-headed dragon. Let me see if I can find it. Um, so yeah, this is it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see. Wow, look at those freckles. Um, yeah, see right there. Looks like it wants to start forming a two-headed dragon. Right there. But you know what? Sorry about that. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to um, I'm gonna get some thread and I'm going to wrap that around there. I don't want that one to be a two-headed dragon. Just the one that I made. I like that one. Anyway, um, my regimen is basically still the same. It's um, not a whole lot of spritz and um, I change oils and stuff like that whenever I feel like it. But today was, a, I washed my hair this morning and it was a very simple um, regimen for me today. Um, I washed with Suave. This is Sun Ripened Strawberry. And it smells really good. I don't know if it stays in your hair that long, but, you know, it did smell good. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, a few little, not camera problems, but cameraman problem being myself. And, okay, I showed you guys this. This is what I shampooed with. And then after I shampooed, I used this. Organic Root Stimulator Coconut Oil. It's like a pomade. Um, I just put it on my scalp, just parted my hair, put it on the scalp, parted my hair, put it on the scalp, and then ran it through. It just ran it through. And yeah, that's how I did that. Um, for the most part, I think there has been a little growth going on, and that's really pretty much it. My hair is still cultivating into the ropes that they should be. Yeah. And this, I want to show you, these are interlocked. This is the interlocked lock. I don't see where it's very uneven or lumpy or bumpy. You know, 
but um just to make a comment on a video that was um that uh my lele had had recently made i think it was her last one about lock tubers what how do you maintain your locks and there was a guy i think his name was Irie soaring eagle um saying how interlocking and twisting can uh can damage your hair well he has 20 years worth of dreadlocks that he has freeformed and I think they're actually down to his feet um, there's been a lot of I mean he's given out a lot of lock advice and he's saying you know that basically some of the ways that well the twisting and the and the interlocking is bad for your hair. I think I mentioned that already. But for me, it is what I choose. It is what I like. It is what I love. And it is what I will continue to do. So, um, and then I think um, Trini to the Bone had made a, a video where people are telling her that she needs to color her hair. Now, one thing I always loved about the Locke family here on YouTube was that we um of all of all uh categories of videos that are made we are the most supportive of one another and we basically um we will follow each other's journey give support you know and give advice but we never tell each other what you have to do with your locks and that's one thing that i've always respected about the lock family here on youtube and um, I would just, you know, I just think that when you start stepping on people's toes and telling them what you have to do with your locks, and it becomes um, offensive to the person. So um, I would just like to say, like, you know, let's you guys, let's just keep it like it is. You know, let's continue to support each other in whatever we, in whatever we um, call on each other for support for. Let's continue to support each other, and let's continue to. Um, uh, respect each other's freedom of choice to do what we do with our own locks okay anyway uh, this is journey Against six and like I said I'm just giving you guys a 28 month lock update um, oh wait that means in what three years 36 I have eight more months for um, for three years and I'm very pleased I like my two tones so for you guys that gave me the thumbs down that's okay I love them peace Hey YouTube, how you doing? It's me again.